Hey, I'm Allison from Learning at the Primary Pond. I'm a literacy specialist, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about a type of support that's available for teachers that you might not even know about, but it is so helpful. Before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to do that now, and then also hit the little bell so that you don't miss out on any of the brand new videos that I post about teaching. Let's talk about getting support as a teacher. Now, we all know if you're an educator that teaching can be very stressful. There's a lot of things you have to think about. If you're an elementary teacher, you might be teaching a lot of different subjects. You have kids that are struggling. You have stuff to prep for. It can just be a lot. And, you know, although you may be the best teacher in the world, you need that support, right? Like you need help in some ways. We all need help in some ways, right? We are better when we have that help. And help can look like a lot of different things. It can look like, you know, a principal or administrator, other administrator that you could confide in, right? And that you can be really honest with and you can ask for help. Like that's a great kind of support. I hope you have that. It can look like a supportive team, whether that's your grade level or like a couple of grade levels, you can get support from your team for sure. And then there's the learning kind of support where maybe you have like professional development over the summer or right before school starts. That's also a type of support because it helps you grow in your practice. All of these are great types of support for teachers. But there is another type of support that in my experience can have the biggest impact on you as an educator, both just in your stress levels and in your professional growth. And I don't mean professional growth in like a very dry way, like, oh, like I'm meeting, you know, these standards or whatever, like that's important, but also just being engaged as a teacher and staying engaged requires you to grow. It benefits your kids, yes, but we are just so much as humans, so much more engaged in what we're doing when we are continuing to grow. And one type of support that can be so instrumental in your growth is by working with a coach. Now, some schools will have a literacy coach or a math coach or a general instructional coach. Let me know in the comments if you've ever worked with a coach before. Now, I know that working with coaches, like in a school setting, can um, it can really vary, right? Like what the coach is expected to do, what they do, do or do not help you with, that can vary a ton. You know, my, so I actually have a master's degree in literacy leadership, which allows me to be a literacy coach. Um, one year I was still a classroom teacher. I had this degree and I had a literacy coach that I and our whole team was going to be working with for the first time. And <laughs> this was my first experience. And I don't like, I don't blame her. I don't, you know, I don't fault this person. She was probably just trying to do what she thought she needed to do, but it was very, very early on in the school year. And it was a new school for me. I had a new program to teach and I was like, I was still feeling uncomfortable. You know, when you're teaching a new program and you're like still filling it out, you feel a little awkward. You're like, you got the manual. You're like, okay, what are we supposed to be doing? So it was very early stages and very early on in the school year. And she comes into my classroom. I hadn't really gotten to talk to her before, but I was in the middle of teaching a reading lesson. And I'm like teaching, teaching. And then all of a sudden she just inserts something. And I was like so taken aback because I was so focused on what I was trying to accomplish. And I was just like, whoa, like, can you not insert stuff right now? It's like, this is not the type of coaching that I'm looking for. So I share that story. And again, I do not fault her at all. Again, she, I think she was new to it. She probably didn't know what she was supposed to be doing. Um, but all of that is to say that I know that depending upon what kind of coach you've worked with, that experience may or may not have been helpful. But what I wanna do in this video is explain how to get coaching that actually is supportive and helpful to you as an educator. So in my experience and working with coaches, it is most helpful when a coach provides, number one, a safe space for you to feel like you can just share your thoughts and feelings and even vent sometimes, not unproductively, but you know, kind of like get your emotions out so that you can process them and the coach provides that safe space for that. A coach also provides a safe space where they're not there to judge you. I believe, and I believe it's best practice, that coaches should not be sent into a school if they're truly supposed to be coaches and also have to evaluate the teachers. Coaches are there to facilitate growth. Again, I know that's not always how it happens, but 
Um, again, safe space, super important. You have to have like a, a positive relationship with your coach so that you feel safe expressing yourself and being honest. So there's that piece of it, but then there's also this whole process that you can go through um, with a coach with goal setting. Now, as a teacher, you have so much to worry about, so much to think about, but through that coaching relationship, you can the coach can help you get focused on a specific goal. They can help you decide how you wanna reach that goal. You then maybe do a little professional learning or you do some tweaking to what you're doing in your classroom. You know, you gather student data, you come back with the coach, you reflect, and throughout that process, the coach can kind of like keep you on track with your thinking and keep you focused. Now, I know that a lot of teachers actually don't have access to this type of transformational coaching, which is really too bad because I know that not only can it support you as an individual in just you know being engaged in your job, enjoying your job, not being so stressed, but it can also really benefit students. So knowing that a lot of teachers don't get access to that, what I decided to do is make that available to you. So I created something called the Reading Intervention Collaborative. This is focused very much on reading intervention and helping kids that are struggling K, kindergarten through fifth grade readers. So it is having like that lens, that focus, but the Reading Intervention Collaborative includes coaching. So you actually get to work with me. We have another coach on our team that's available in um, our private forum, our closed group, where you know you can come and ask questions and just, even if you don't have a question, just say what's on your mind and process through it. And I can provide that support, that safe space, I'm not actually involved in your school, right? But I'm this kind of like objective person who can share my thoughts, give you strategies and help you move forward. Coaching can provide accountability. We have live Zoom calls. So of course, you know, when you have that Zoom call, then you're more likely to show up, stay on track, um, you know, just keep doing the trainings that I also give you in the Reading Intervention Collaborative. You have that support and coaching in general is all about actually implementing because there's a difference between knowing that you like should do something or this is best practice and actually implementing it. So coaching helps you with that implementation with staying on track. I love coaching our members of the Reading Intervention Collaborative. Um, it is just like one of my favorite parts of the work that I do, building those relationships, getting to know them more personally, and serving as that safe space where they can ask questions, they can get support, and they can just say what's on their mind. If you're interested in coaching with me, definitely check out the Reading Intervention Collaborative. There'll be a link in the caption. And I also wanna to talk to you a little bit about how it works once you become a member. So once you become a member and you're doing the, co the coaching option of the RIC, you will get this member roadmap. And inside the roadmap, I walk you through exactly like what process you can go through if you wanna set a specific goal. Um, I show you like, okay, these are the training videos inside the Reading Intervention Collaborative. I guide you in choosing which videos you wanna watch, how to narrow in on a specific goal, um, how to break down your steps to get there. And then after you kind of set your goal, then you come to the coaching calls or you post in our private forum, you ask questions, I'll check in with you and just make sure that you know everything is going the way that you want it to be going. So how much you use this coaching is totally up to you. But again, I'm that safe space for you. I can help you stay focused on whatever goal you wanna stay focused on and be there for you as you move forward in your growth as a teacher. And again, when you have a stressful day, I'm also here for that too. There's also so much more to the Reading Intervention Collaborative that will help you help struggling readers be successful. There's that piece of it too. So definitely check out the RIC in the caption um, to learn more information. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.